is a trick to get the sub bass going and simply right click and go to initialize patch and this pretty much initializes subtractor and this first oscillator is right here oscillator one and you can scroll through these different waveforms so here's one of them here next one might want to raise this up a little bit there's the triangle and then here's your typical sub bass right there that squiggly line gets a pretty good sub bass and I actually use subtractor just for that sub bass and it's pretty good and this keeps going 5 all the way up to 32 so these are all the different waveforms you can use in subtractor and next to that is the octave I'm just pressing one key and you know that jumps up octaves and here's a semitone and the scent tone. You can also go up and down here. Uh, this goes up an octave and the scent goes plus or minus 50. Now I'm going to show you how to make patches from scratch with Subtractor, you know, by initializing the patch. But obviously they have a lot of good presets and we'll get to that too, but I wanted to go through some tips and tricks first. Okay. Um, now, this is just oscillator one right now. Um, okay, I'll go up to... All right, I'll stay on 23. And you could actually mix this with oscillator two, which is right here. And all you have to do is click this little button there. Now it's mixing both of them with this mix knob. It's directly in the middle, so it's mixing them at an even amount. Okay, I'm mixing 23 and okay, 23 and 11. That's with nothing to number two, oscillator number two, and then that's with it about 65. Now, one trick to um, here's a trick to get the oscillator one and oscillator two to beat against each other is take the second oscillator and you want to go with the scent knob you want to go a few uh, down or up plus or minus it, it just added a little modulation where it sounds like it's beating against each other and you can use that on sub bass or any combination you use or any preset within the folder it's a little trick there just on the second oscillator See, that just added a little body to it. And we'll go back to zero. So that adds a little um, bit, a bit of a beating effect to oscillator one. That's that little trick right there. All right, um, next is the noise generator, which is right here. And this is connected to oscillator two. Uh, I'm going to turn off oscillator two because it's connected to it. And now the noise is mixed with oscillator one see the mix knob all the way down you're not gonna hear the noise because it's actually connected noise is connected to number two that's why I turn number two off so um, if you actually all the way to the right now it's just all gonna be the noise and this could be used for wind effects I'm moving the color knob. Here's the level. So mostly for wind, and you you can't you can add it to oscillator one if you want or any preset, and also you can use them to make drums. Um, some of those old school type drums with a snare, maybe a hi hat. Um, you know, it's good to get creative with the noise, uh, or you know, think of think of things people haven't done yet. All right, next would be the uh, filter, uh, the filter frequency. And um, this right here, uh, this is um, low pass filters. And right here, it's under LP12. So that's um, 12 dB per octave on the filter. And when you're using low pass, which is on right now, LP12, um, 
it's pretty much just frequency one opens and closes it. Um, you've probably heard these type of type of effects before. Let me turn off that noise. So now it's on LP12, how that's highlighted right there. Now you go to type, just click this little thing here, LP24. Still going to open and close it. And there's also this resonance knob. Now on the resonance, um, the higher you set it, the more whistling and ringing you're going to get. So over here, not as high. not getting as much ringing but if I put it up here if you put the resonance higher you're gonna get that whistling a little bit when you get higher up and the resonance also affects these other parameters which are uh, the high pass the band pass and the notch um, so notch You can hear that a tiny bit, but uh, for the band pass and the notch filter, the resonance um, really just adjusts the width of the band. Um, so those are the uh, different ones you can cycle through. You're probably most familiar with the low pass ones. That's the ones you hear most, mostly in music. And this is um, the subtractor actually has another filter. Um, this filter is actually a 12 dB per octave low pass filter. And to get that working, all you have to do is just click this right here, and it's going to be in series with each other. So that adds another low pass filter to the first one. Um, and then for a dual filter like that is, um, for an example on a preset, just to show you, let's see, a mono. Singing synth, okay. All right, this is an example of a, see how this preset already had this set. You see all the things they have here. Um, it's called the singing synth in the mono synth category. You can see that, that's pretty cool. And they have these dialed in perfectly for that. But when you initialize patch, you can make stuff like this from scratch. But uh, this is dialed in perfectly. I don't even want to mess with it. But you see, we had it probably had it around here. You know, it turned into it sounds like a human. So you really got to experiment with these different settings to get uh, different patches, or just use the presets as a starting block. All right, um, let's see here. You can also do linked filters, which is this button here. And this links the frequencies. So when I move filter one, it's going to keep the same distance between filter one and filter two. Even though you can't really see filter two moving. It keeps a balance between filter one and filter two on the frequency part. And an example of that is uh, the polysynth, uh, Fozzy Funk, I think it is. Polysynth Fozzy Funk. Let's see, poly. Fozzy Funk. Yeah, see, this one, this preset already came with this link little knob, so. <laughs> are linked. Let's see how this works. It's under notch right now. This is the preset. Just went to high pass. So they had it under notch. Alright. And um the amplitude envelope is right here and this is your standard ADSR and that's attack, uh, attack, decay, sustain, and release and that pretty much is the volume of your sound and how it changes when you 
press the key and until the key is released. Um, it determines the basic dynamics of your sound. And that's either soft, long, short, and the, the different parameters right here on the amplitude. Let me just go to... See, I just adjusted this decay right here. Here's the attack. See when I pushed the key, it, it ramped in. This was a faster attack. So it ramps up, and if it's down, it comes in immediately. And then the release. I just I just press the key really quickly, and it keeps going. If the release is higher, that's the amplitude. And the filter envelope right here. This one actually affects. Um, how the filter frequency changes over time. How this frequency right here changes with the attack, decay, sustain, and release, but it's connected to the frequency of the filter. So, so here's that attack again. I think that was inverted. That's a longer release on that uh, frequency there. Get this. Yeah, you can hear that attack ramping up there for the actual frequency. the attack here. What if I had it right here? But uh, yeah, the filter envelope is connected to the frequency. And um, that's pretty much it for the subtractor. It's got some great patches and then those are the main areas. You know, oscillator 1, oscillator 2, noise, filter links, amplitude and uh, filter envelope. But you've also got a lot of modulation here, and uh, it gets pretty crazy. The, po the possibilities are endless. Let's see. You can do a little bit of this rate knob. It's going to give that little wobble wobble effect. move this amount up a little bit with the rate and it's gonna give that modulation and if you get it right you can dial it in right and get some good effects going here's your mod wheel and um, this also gets connected to either oscillator 1 and 2, oscillator 2, the FM knob, which is actually right here, frequency modulation. I'm actually just pressing one key. And that's the uh, that was the FM knob. But let's see if I go one more. So this is actually on FM. So subtractor, uh, subtractor has some really cool presets. And don't forget about right click and initialize patch. And this squiggly line is the uh, sub bass, which is really great. You can actually layer it like I just did here. And you got sub bass. All right, thanks for watching. Sean Friedman with Sweetwater Sound and unbelievablebeats.com.